Are you looking for a custom home builder? This video shares three commonly missed questions you can ask your potential home builder and to help you as the homeowner choose your builder more confidently. Hey everyone, welcome to Custom Homes with Kathy. I'm Kathy Ewan, architectural technologist, custom home designer, and founder of Phase One Design. Our team has helped over 500 homeowners navigate their way through the custom home process, including selecting a home builder. As custom home designers, we bring a really unique perspective to this particular topic. By the end of this video, you as the homeowner will be very confident and one step closer towards selecting your custom home builder. If you find this video helpful, please let me know by clicking the like button below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future custom home related videos. Let's dive in. Question number one, talk to the trades the home builder works with. Trades can give you a really, really great behind the scenes insight into how that particular home builder operates. Ask the trades, how long have they been working with that particular home builder? And what has their experience been like working with that home builder? So here are some of the key things that you as a homeowner, when you're having these conversations, could be looking for. So first and foremost, a good builder will have a stable base of key trades. Now it's not entirely realistic to have every single trade of theirs as long-term trades, but high quality builders will generally have a really great core base of trades that they work with on a regular basis. This is really important for you because ultimately tr the trades are the actual men and women out there that are actually physically building your house. So the better relationship that the builder has with them and the longer standing relationship that they have with them, the better, of course, for you. A long relationship is a great telltale sign that they probably are going to stand behind their work and very often that they are going to have great craftsmanship in their work, which of course is of great benefit to you. Question number two, ask about the home builder's experience with your particular geographic area and or project type. So make sure whichever builder that you're talking to for your project, make sure they're experienced with the type of build that you're doing. So what I mean by this is each type of build is going to have its own nuances and you need to make sure that your builder is familiar with what those nuances are and how they should be dealing with them. So here's just a few examples. If you're building on an acreage, there's going to be specific things such as septic systems, servicing the site, water tables, potential geotechnical conditions, and the list goes on. So obviously you need to make sure a builder is familiar with all those things in that particular area, in that municipality. If you're building on a challenging site, make sure a builder has experience with that particular type of building. So for example, maybe you're building on an extremely steep lot on the side of a mountain where rock blasting is required. Or perhaps you're building close to a waterfront or environmentally protected area where there's certain construction access setbacks required or other requirements from the municipality. Obviously, your builder should be familiar with those. If you're building in a developed urban area, you may be tearing down an existing building or an existing structure and then replacing it with a new home or a new infill. So obviously, if that's the case, then you need to make sure your builder understands how that process works and the approval process through the municipality. So whatever that looks like for your particular project, just make sure that your builder is familiar with either that municipality or with that type of project or in most cases, both. So just as a side note, as we're talking about geographic areas and land, if you happen to be in the process of choosing land, I have two extra side little tips to help you out. There's actually a separate video that we've made with regards to how to choose land, and I provided a link below. Secondly, we've also created a really short checklist for you as a homeowner as a cheat sheet to use when choosing your land so you know the things to look for. A lot of these things that you should be looking for in choosing land should be some of the things that your home builder should be somewhat familiar with. So I provided links below, feel free to check them out. Question number three, ask the home builder to provide some examples of when things didn't go so smoothly. So ask your home builder for these examples and more importantly, ask them how they actually handled them. So, okay, for this particular question, I would like to set a very realistic expectation on behalf of all the custom home builders out there. It is a custom home that you're building, which means that it has never been built before. And it is the world of construction that you're dealing with. 
So something at some point may end up not going exactly as planned. So when and if this happens, just please remember, it is not the end of the world. What is really important though, is how this particular situation is handled. So that's really what you're asking the home builder is how situations like this, when they come up, are going to be handled. So here are some of the things to look for. Will they make executive decisions on your behalf? Or are they going to involve you in every single decision? To be honest, it doesn't really matter what the answer is. There really is no right or wrong. What you're looking for is to make sure whatever that answer is to that question and whatever examples that they give you, that you as a homeowner are comfortable with how that particular home builders likes to deal with challenges as they come up. So here are some things to help you out. In the past, we've seen really, really great success with home builders that have some of these following traits. So first and foremost, collaborative home builders. There's a huge team of people work that are going to be working on your project. So builders that are collaborative with that entire team versus finger pointing is great. Another thing to look for is a builder who will actually take accountability if they did make a mistake that was actually theirs, which I actually think that's the way your entire team should operate. But somebody who, if they make a mistake, they own it, they're gonna sit down and let you know, okay, sorry this happened and then they're going to focus on the solution moving forward. This point also speaks to how really successful home builders typically quickly address issues, uh, they communicate directly with you, and they're very transparent about the whole process to you as the homeowner client. At the end of the day, it is up to you as a homeowner just to gauge your comfort level in how a home builder is going to be addressing any issues if and when they come up. So now you have three powerful questions that you can use when choosing a new home builder for your custom home project. If you need more help with choosing a home builder, feel free to reach out to our team. We have an amazing network of some of what I think are the best home builders in the cities that we work in. You can email me at hello at phase1design.com. I provided it up here and also in a link down below in the comments. Don't forget to check out our other custom home videos on this channel. And if this video was helpful for you, please let me know by clicking the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.